But first on this Wellness Wednesday, we're discussing childhood obesity, and here's how come. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says nearly 15 million children aged 2 to 19 years have obesity. Obesity affects some groups more than others, especially children and families with lower incomes, and health care for obesity is expensive. We're talking about 1.3 billion dollars. And joining us now to discuss more about childhood obesity is Dr. Griffin Metcalf with Internal Medicine and Pediatric Clinic. How are you doing, Dr. Metcalf? Doing well. How are you? I am doing great. So tell us a little bit about how concerning is it for you as a doctor to see children with obesity? Sure. It's a really, it's becoming more and more of an issue, but it's, you know, a lot of the, the adult issues, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance are becoming more and more prevalent in the the the, child, the pediatric population and adolescents and um, and so we really you know try to focus on talking about healthy lifestyle in the clinic um, as we're seeing patients um, for well child visits and of course if you don't address the issues now of course it can lead mm -hmm. to the adult uh, diseases as you just mentioned so how do you tell a parent what do you tell a parent uh, well, when it comes to their child being obese no one wants to sure. hear that for one right yeah, it's, it's not always an easy topic to discuss because it, it is a very sensitive issue to children and to adults. Um, the first thing I say to parents is, um, you know, this is not a simple problem, so it doesn't have a simple solution. And ultimately, as parents, the responsibility begins with us mm -hmm. in the home, um, teaching our children healthy lifestyles, setting good examples in the foods that we, that we eat and our activity level. And so it really starts with us and setting a good example and teaching our children how to make healthy decisions at home. Now we do have some lifestyle tips that we would like to uh, share with our viewers. Let's go over this together. First off, what should they do? Well, a couple of things that I recommend is, I, you know, I tell people to drink mostly water and milk. Um, things that don't have a lot of sugar and calories. Aim for more protein, uh, more fiber, and lower starchy foods, lower carb foods, because a lot of those have hidden calories that, that, that really add up. Something I do recommend for families to do is eat together and eat slowly, because tend to eat less calories when you eat as, as a family and you're having conversation. Um, and then a final thing, even if it's just a couple of days a week, to carve out time to spend outdoors as a family to become more active and less sedentary. I think we have a lot of screen time and mm -hmm. sit in front of a television a lot does not make us the most active um, people society. people at all and you know what and you're yeah. right about that because you know gone are the days when you used to sit around the table as a family and yeah. just talk about your day and and let's have a conversation everybody wants to get on their phone or they want to get on the screens mm -hmm. and stuff like that anything else you want to tell our viewers before we let you go well I'll just say as a community you know being teaching our children to be very sensitive about this topic and not bullying people you know classmates and things because this is a topic that's very uh, sensitive for a lot of children and so just being being very mindful of that um, at school all right well okay. thank you so much right, there, dr so much. griffin metcalf for joining us this afternoon